Wow, big gate. Doesn't get any bigger than this. Well, then don't you think you should have picked her up instead of making her come to you? It's her choice. She doesn't like people knowing where she lives. Oh, please. Hello? Hi. You're Paris Everett. Yes. This is my roommate, Elisa. Hi, Elisa. Yes. Nice to meet you. Oh, God. I'm shaking hands with Paris Everett. No problem. I shake hands with huge movie stars every day. Uh, how do you feel about 93 East for dinner? Oh, 93 East is incredible. Yeah, I saw the pictures in InStyle from De Niro's birthday party there. Yeah, that was a fun party. Oh, my God. You're wearing that silver Cynthia Rowley outfit with those amazing black Prada wedge heels. Actually, they were dark green, not black. Wow. Dark green, huh? Well, uh, we better get going. <laughs> uh, what are you doing tonight, Lisa? Oh, um, I'm going to call my friends and tell them I was talking to you and that we talked about your dark green white heels. <laughs> well, why don't you come with us? I mean, if it's okay with you. Yeah, sure, that's cool. <laughs> I'm having dinner with Paris Everett in 93 East. <laughs> Pinch me. <laughs> I'm not wearing this. That's really cool of you. I mean, other guys wouldn't be so nice about letting their roommate tag along on a first date. Well, I'm not other guys. <laughs> And my brother and his friends won't let me in the treehouse. No girls allowed. So you're pissed off. And seeking revenge. Exactly. So I sneak up there while he's at his Boy Scouts meeting, and I pull a few nails out of the floorboards. And he fell through? Well, actually, I did. But I got this little scar as a souvenir. Oh. <gasps> Wait, I couldn't see it. <laughs> well, I should let you guys at least have part of this date alone, so I'm going to go up. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. I was obsessed with ancient Egypt. So, on my ninth birthday, I gave myself the Cleopatra haircut. <laughs> oh, I bet you looked adorable. <laughs> yeah. Well, good night. Good night. She's great. Yeah, I know. Thanks. So, tonight's the night with Paris. What do you mean, tonight's the night? I mean, tonight's the night. But you're kidding me. You two still haven't... Nope. Part of my new strategy. Shortly to become my old strategy because I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Mikey, I don't think you need a strategy. She's really into you. you think so? Who wouldn't be? I burned my larynx. Your larynx? Who says that? <laughs> Hi. I always think if I just watch it again, Hubble and Katie will stay together. <laughs> hey, what time is it? 2.15. Night's still young. I think I'm going to go to bed. That sounds like a good idea. I agree. Good night. Good night. Good night. Harris, I'm going to my bedroom. Yeah? Are you going to my bedroom, too? Yeah. Paris, I don't want you to go to my bedroom. <laughs> Neither do I. Oh. Oh, my mistake. Oh, no, I mean, it's just, you know, I didn't realize that you were... Bisexual? Oh, that's a big word. Not a bad word. Oh, Mikey, you've been so sweet. I mean, you're the first guy I've gone out with that hasn't made a move on me. Is it too late? Well, let's just say... My interests have wandered. I've really enjoyed getting to know you. I've really enjoyed getting to know you. Can I just say for the record, I'm just willing to watch you guys get to know each other better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't we just be friends? Oh, um... 
sure. You know what? I, I think I think the evening's over. Oh um, no! I mean, really, we could just we can be friends. Nah. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Paris Everett just walked out on me. Me neither. Guess I'll just check out Sports Center. Wow. You're really not that bummed. You know, I'm not. I think I was more into the idea of her than her. Mm. I still can't believe it. Her wanting me and not you. It's not that weird. If I were a lesbian, I'd want you too. Really? Sure. Huh. I'd watch even if I weren't a lesbian. You're not a lesbian. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> 